All right, guys, what's up? It's Julian here with my buddy Jose. So today's gonna be our first episode of doing bass fishing here in Miami. Jose says he's the bass master, so we're gonna see what his skills can do. We're gonna be looking for largemouth. I already see one right there rolling into that uh that little drain out right there. Probably can't see it, but I got my polarized on, so I already saw a little fish going there. Look so goldfish. Oh, uh, look, got a nice little goldfish in there. So it. we're gonna set up my rod. I only got a saltwater rod. I got my uh, my Quantum Smoke 40 inshore reel, but got to set up on my San Croix. It should work just fine. What are you using out here, Jose? Using a uh, Quantum inshore. It's a size 25 reel, 20 pound braid, and a worm. Awesome. Cool. So we're gonna set up my rod now. Jose's gonna set it up with a worm. So uh, we'll keep you tuned in. What we're using here is a watermelon zoom speed worm, an eight ounce bullet weight, and a three out hook. We're gonna Texas rig it, hopefully get a large mouth. Yeah, shaky as fuck. Can't even tell. It's all it's probably from not sleeping and two monsters. <laughs> Two monsters, a bunch of Coca-Cola. You see that, bro? I can't even tell. That's why you need to get sleep, bro. Should be good. Yeah, crazy thing is we got up early today. Uh, me and Jose actually, from my company, we went out to Jupiter. You know, we're down here in Miami, so Jupiter is about a two hour drive north, north of us. Uh, my company, we do packing and crating services all over uh, South Florida. So we actually went down there. We had a, a big crate that we had to yeah, custom cool. pack and crate over there. So we were up early. We've been out on the road all day. We've been on a bunch of caffeine, <laughs> you know, Cuban colada in the morning, monster during the day, Coca-Cola, but uh, whatever. We got out a little bit early today. Jose just hooked it up right there. We got a Texas rig on a zoom bait. Really nice weedless right there. So uh, let's see if we can get the fish to bite right now. What's up guys? I just hooked my first little bass right here out in the canal using that little zoom bait that I showed you guys. Pretty nice. Pretty nice clear waters right here. Gonna release this bad boy. Take a look. Second cast in and he uh he hit the worm so I'm gonna launch him in there because we're fishing on a little bit of a ledge here. There you go. He's in there. Yeah, he swam away. I don't know if you can see him. He's swimming right to the middle right there. So we're just out here walking up and down the canals. Beautiful canal right here. It's crystal clear. I spotted them the, the second I walked up to it. I got my polarized uh, pelagic sunglasses. So we'll keep you tuned in. Hopefully the next one we get, we'll be able to catch it on camera. Got a little bass hooked on. Oh, you saw there that jump? Go. A little topwater jumping right there. A little largemouth. Hey, he thinks he's a tarp. Let's try to bring him in. Let's try to bring him in up here, up here, right here. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, little baby bass, dude. He just swallowed this whole. The bait thing. is bigger than him. Yeah, we got like, you using a little three o, little three o, little three o bait. You need the pliers or not? I think we might need the pliers, bro, so we don't hurt him. He's starting to. Whoa! All right, we got a nice little messy hand here. All right, we're good. We're gonna bring the pliers out and get him dehooked. Yeah, he's thinking about space one more time. Yes, look at the peacock bass over there towards the oh, middle oh man that's a nice big peacock. old peacock bass guys right yeah, in the center need, of the canal we need to switch the lure for that one okay oh look, look he's coming up to the to the worm come on uh these guys are really picky but so far we got two bass in today we're trying to get our third one peacock, yeah. there's so much life out here really nice canal it's a nice little walk right here so we're just cruising up and down the coast of this canal. We're just pretty much sight casting it to fish. Oh, 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 oh he's pissed. See, we got peacock, almost got a peacock bite on a worm, guys. Right over there where we're casting at. I don't know if you guys can see it. I'm trying to piss him off. See if he'll strike, but nah. Maybe if we put a lure on, we might get him to bite. Look, look, look. You saw it? Yeah, I saw it. <laughs> Here, let me get your rod. Go ahead. All right, let's walk up to him. 
Yeah, so it's a nice day, guys. As you can see, it's clear skies here in Miami today. It's about 85 degrees. Really nice fishing weather. Now that it's starting to heat up, I think... Uh, peacocks are coming back. Peacocks are coming back, like Jose just said. The bass fishing... Bass fishing here is always good here in Miami, re realistically. Let's see if we can get a bite here. Look at this other big boy. It's another peacock right here. Yeah, we got some nice peacock bass right in here. But they're not hitting. I think it's time that we switch up since we're seeing them. All right, guys, we're here. We just had a large mouth hit the worm. We're trying to see if he'll hit it again. Just sight casting it to him. He just moved over to the center of the canal. Trying to see if he'll work his way back to my worm. I got my worm right over here. He's right over here to the left. He's coming this way. We were both trying to juggle the camera and the fish, and I ended up popping the hook out of his mouth. So let's see if uh, if he'll bite. He's swimming away. I'm gonna have to probably throw I it. Throw again. it in front of him. See if I can throw it in front of him. He's swimming away, but uh, he's, he's he's a nice little sized bass right there. Probably bigger than the last one, I would think. Yeah. There we go. That's about as there you good go. as it gets. There you go. Let's see if we get his attention. Give it a few seconds. There we go. He's looking at it. There we go. There you go. There you go. Set him. Set him. Set him. Set, him. Set, him. Set it. Set it. There you go. He just got another large mouth. There you go, baby. A nice little large mouth. Hooked up right in the corner. Let's see. Let's try to get to that. All right. Got him on a zoom speed worm. Watermelon. Nice little bass. A bunch in this lake. We're going to keep bringing you action all afternoon, guys. Look, there's a peacock right there. All right, it's my turn, buddy. Your turn. Let's go. We'll launch this bad boy right to the middle. Sayonara, sucker. He's going for the Olympics. <laughs> it's on. Watch out with my rod, boy. This is a really cool spot, guys. We've been probably walking... Well, we started over there. I don't know if you guys can see all the way in the distance. There's like a, some piping that runs across the canal from one side to the other. So we started about over there. We've been making our way all the way over here. And uh, so far, that's the, that's the fourth bass that I've caught today. I've hooked either five or six. Uh, two of them just came out. You know, when they were busting out of the water, the hook came out. But uh, so far, we got four on. So stay tuned. We're going to keep bringing you action all afternoon. That's a nice size. He's got some nice stripes on him. I think you got to get it deeper in there, bro. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to switch to the lure that sinks a little bit more. If I was you, I'd try that Rapala that I was telling you about. Yeah, I think I might. There we go. We just got the strike. Oh, and he came off. Oh, man. What a beautiful drag strip right there. I heard that. I heard that. Man. <laughs> oh, boy. And that is the beautiful thing about peacock bass fishing, guys, is that when they hit, they hit like no other freshwater fish does, man. He's over there towards the back of the canal. Straight ahead to your left. You want to toss it towards the wall and then bring it in. He's over there. Nice. Uh, large mouth here, boy. Yo. <laughs> Don't be scared. <laughs> Nice little bass, guys. Nice little largemouth. We're out here. Beautiful day out here in the out here in Miami. We're fishing out here in the canals, sight casting to these guys. That's a nice bass right there. Nice little largemouth bass. I'm gonna launch him back in there into the center of the canal. There we go. Perfect. Let's see. Hopefully he swims out. Oh, there you go. Yeah, he's gone, man.
All right, guys. So we were just about to end this video right now. We've been fishing for about three hours, and look at what we get on the way. We're like, we're about a quarter mile from the car on the way back from this canal. Look at this bass that Jose just hooks up. He's, I'm about to start the camera off to, see, you know, to say our goodbyes, you know, talk about what we've done today. And look at this nice little bass, this nice little largemouth bass. End the day off on a good note. That is a good note to end the day off with. That right there, guys, that is our seventh largemouth. We've been fishing for about two and a half, three hours down here in the canal system, you know, Miami Dade. You know, we've been hanging out, sight casting to these fish. Um, we've probably got about eight or nine hits. We lost about two largemouth bass, right? I think I lost like one or two. You might have lost one. two, and we lost a nice peacock. We lost a nice peacock. It's a little tough right now. The, this time of year is a little tough to get them to bite. But we have seen a lot of them. This is actually a canal that I think me and Jose have been talking about it throughout this afternoon since we've been walking. We're like, this is a good spot to come back with some live bait. Um, you know, because with live bait, you just kill it with that. Um, what else did we see out here? Tilapia, catfish. Tilapia, what catfish. Else? We saw some Oscars you said earlier. Oscars, cichlids. Cichlids. Everything. Yeah, that's another, another thing. Not native species, but. But they're all fun to catch. You know, we were a little bit unprepared today. It was kind of like a last minute trip, but ended up pretty awesome if you ask me. Pretty sick action. We definitely got to do a couple more of these. Uh, Jose was mentioning maybe next time we could bring some bread. Some of these fish only hit bread, right? Uh, the cichlids and the tilapia, they only bite bread. But I think next time we're coming with some live bait too. Yeah, so next time we'll be a little bit more prepared. Bring some live bait, bring some bread. Maybe bring something to drink too, because right now we're like, we're like dying for some ice cold water. That's for sure. We've been walking. Oh, I would say we probably walked about two, three miles, maybe, maybe more. And it's been a hot afternoon. Um, but no, it's been it's been worth it. A lot of good action today. We found a good spot. We actually came here once before, late in the afternoon. We didn't get to this part of the canal. Uh, we did like the beginning side of it through the main street. We didn't really get much action, but I was like, you know, we should hit it again today. It's a little bit earlier, a little bit more daylight. And uh, turned out to be a success, wouldn't you say? Yeah, buddy. All right, man. All right, guys. I hope you guys liked the video. Um, please give us a thumbs up if you did. Make sure you hit the subscribe button for future videos. Uh, we're going to be doing all kinds of uh, boat DIYs like you guys know that we do. A lot of fishing videos. Summertime's coming up now, so we'll probably do a lot more of these bass videos. Uh, let us know what you think. Leave your comments below. We'll try to describe some of the things we are using on the description bar. And we'll see you next time.